Hello and welcome to my let's play of The Long Dark. It's a survival game based in the Canadian wilderness. You can choose as female or male characters. Uh, currently there's two starting points in the game. Now both starting points are on the same map. And I've only played on the first one. Alright. Ooh, it's cold out here. Wonder which way I should go. Oh, you don't run too fast. I get it. You're in deep snow. It's kind of hard to run while you're in deep snow. Now I am running the game at 720p and high settings, I believe. Uh, the performance isn't the greatest, even though it's a pretty simplistic looking game. Uh, it, you don't get a high frame rate. I'm getting about a solid 24 frames per second right now. It's playable. Alright. Hopefully this was the right way to go. I wonder if I can climb up on that. Probably not. So you have to micromanage fatigue, cold, hunger, thirst. Negative 20 Celsius. That is cold. First aid, food and drink. Well, they start you off with quite a few items. What's this over here? Oh, you poor soul. You didn't make it. Looks like someone beat me to him. Ah, uh, the great outdoors. What could possibly go wrong? Is that a deer? Oh, oh shit. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you don't want to mess around with the wolves. Uh, ooh, come on, they'll really get you. I'm just still on there. Wow, I took 18% damage from that fall. It was worth it. That wolf could have killed me. I think I lost him. It almost sounds like this ice is going to break. Ooh, I'm getting pretty cold. I'm going to have to find some shelter soon. Perhaps start a fire. So the basic aim of this game, as far as I know, is to survive. To see how long you can survive for. Hope nobody needs this good. anymore. So you find items like clothing, basic items like first aid, food, you know, your general survival game items. So the different types of clothing you can find obviously keep you warmer. Uh, they affect the general temperature as well as wind chill. Some items are good at keeping you insulated but bad at protecting you from the wind. As you can see, some of the clothings here. Items also have a condition or durability. Um, you can break down items to get the core materials you need. And then I assume with those materials you can then repair uh, 
items you have. I haven't done it yet, so I'm not quite sure. So cold. Alright, we're gonna make a break for this house up here. Hopefully there's a wood stove. Looks fairly big, so they should have a bunch of goodies in it. Let's see what we can find. So who is this we're playing as? We're playing as a male survivor. That was some scary music. So yes, back to the survivor. We'll call him Charles. His name will be Charles. Charles was taking a plane back home to visit his family in Alberta. Uh, the plane mysteriously crashed and Charles is now stranded in the harsh northern Canadian climate. Alright, what do we got up here? Antiseptics. Is that the Toronto Sun? Empty drawer. Mm. Empty, empty, empty. Mm, no luck. <laughs> Drugs. I think the accelerant makes your uh, fires start quicker. Looks like this has been here a while. Looks a little heavy. You do have a weight limit when it comes to carrying items. Lantern, that'll come in handy. Can opener, now that will come in handy. bad. I think we'll head upstairs next, see what's up here. Whoa. Please don't turn into a zombie. Nothing. Oh, we Beautiful. Here. Gloves. wood stove. Maybe we'll bake some scrambled eggs tomorrow. Wait, you don't really bake scrambled eggs, do you? <laughs> Alright, well, we're still cold, but we're not in danger. Let's use this reclaimed wood and uh, maybe start a fire. sure how that worked. Uh, I got five reclaimed wood, but what was I using to create it from? I thought it was the reclaimed wood. Come on, the fire. I'll figure it out in time, I suppose. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Feel the warmth already. So the more wood you add, the longer your fire burns. This fire will last just under three hours. Uh, as you do things such as melt snow down or boil water or cook food, uh, that all takes time. So as you can see, my fire is down to just under two hours. Water is important in this game because you have to manage your thirst.
I have played a few times before this current file. I think this is my fourth attempt. But I died pretty early on on all those attempts. This is actually going fairly well. Try to get our energy back up. Prepare for the next day. One hour left. Hmm. See how much this brings down my fatigue. I brought it down a, a little bit, not too much. Ooh, it doesn't sound so good out there. Let's take a look. Ooh, I think we will stay inside. You wouldn't want to go out when it's like this. It's negative five Celsius. We'll probably change once we get out here though. Oh yeah. Negative 17, negative 19. We wouldn't last two minutes in this kind of weather. We'll have to buy some time in here. Maybe take a little nap. Forage some more wood. Wood's always good. Is now out. So performing activities with your character, such as foraging for wood and doing other things similar, um, makes you thirsty. Quite a bit thirsty. Alright, let's see what it's like out here now. Okay, the weather has settled down a bit. I think we'll end it here for today's episode. If you're interested in following along on my adventure, tune in to the next episode of Let's Play Along Dark.